Welcome to Bear's Lair. Hi, I'm Robert. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a basic linear perspective setup. It's very simple. My dad taught it to me when I was about 10 years old. He's an architect and it's been extremely useful to me. I've used it for over half a century. As you can see, it works. Really simple. You use a T-square, a ruler, long one, that's important, and a triangle. I begin by choosing my place in space for my image, for my picture. Here I have a big arc. That means I'm, if I were to use this as the earth, my picture, I'm way up in the air. I don't wanna do that one today. I wanna to be down on the ground right here with just that bit of horizon behind my picture. So to make things simple, I'm going to go with a straight line. I begin by placing a piece of paper. I'm gonna make everything nice and straight. Otherwise your drawing will look a little cattywampus when you're done. <laughs> I tape it down. I'm gentle with it so I can get away with two pieces of tape. If you're more rambunctious, put more. The idea is simple. We're gonna take two two-dimensional shapes and they're both squares, the same square shape, same size, and turn them into a rendition of a cube. <laughs> it's great. It's really, really great. It's almost magic. And from there, you can see where you just keep going. Here's an example um, of something I'm working on right now. Basically, and you can see there's my cube shape, but that's for later. All right. Um, begin by choosing the horizon. I'm going to choose it slightly below the middle to keep things more interesting. If I have two sizes, it's always a good thing. A little bit of variety. You can put it in the middle if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to begin by showing you quickly one point perspective. It's as it sounds, there's only one vanishing point. And what that means is a vanishing point is the place on the horizon way far away where my view vanishes, thus the vanishing point on the horizon. So that means that any parallel lines in our world will converge to that point way off in the distance. What I mean by that is, for instance, if you take a point that you draw from there up to me, whoop, I have a road. If I put a line like this and a line like that, I can now move into the other aspect of the project, which is to do the verticals. And this is basically parallel to the side. This is parallel to the bottom, parallel to the horizon. And between these two tools, I can create any kind of shape I want. I'm going to place a couple of poles at random. If I was doing a more serious drawing, I'd be measuring these things and making sure everything was completely accurate but here I'm just demonstrating the idea. Poles. Now, I can come along and do this, and I instantly have telephone poles. Now granted, if I was doing a very serious picture, I would be putting my vanishing point lines so that my, van my poles shrank at the proper size for the distance, because that's what gives you your illusion of depth. So that's basic one point perspective, very simple. The more fun and what we're gonna do to get the cube is go to two point perspective. That means basically, because we have two, two eyes, we have bifocal view, um, vision I should say. These will be my vanishing points. I'm putting them on the paper just to make it simple. I could move them out. Um, the closer the vanishing points are to the object, the more dramatic it's going to be, the more dynamic. Back when I was in animation, I would put them close because it makes the thing explode. The box, it would be bursting. If you move your vanishing points further away, it becomes more sedate and more realistic looking. I'm going to just pick in the middle 
it won't be completely realistic, but it'll also make it simple for you to work on a piece of paper. Um, the way it works in architecture is you take a side view of your building, an elevation, and you place it over here. What we're going to be doing is transferring the points across to the drawing so that we can create our rendition right here. So I'm going to choose it according to the horizon right now. I'm sort of just visualizing this. It's not going to stay. So right there. I'm going to take this little guy down. And again, I want to try and keep everything straight and horizontal so that it all works out. Otherwise, things will get a little slippery later on. I also now have to place the overhead view, which will determine the rotation of my shape to me. Now, what I'm doing is ignore this. I'm looking at this shape as if I was standing here looking at it this way. I have to decide how it's going to be placed. I'm going to place it on a slight angle so that it's interesting. Um, I'm going to be bringing these points down only. I'm not going to be filling the sky with lines. So you'll see what I'm talking about. This one I'm not going to line up to anything because I want it to be slightly off. All right, the way this works, very simply, you transfer these points. Now these two points are on the same line, so I just bring them across. I don't need to bring them all the way across. I only need to bring them to, this, to the place I'm gonna be drawing my shape. Since I'm bringing these points down and these points across, that means just right here. So I'll bring this to here and just do my rough line there. Two points, again, just wanna make sure I have enough to encompass that. So this is, where my box is going to be in space distance wise from me. Now I'm going to transfer these points down with the triangle. Basically a perpendicular gives me a vertical and I take this point and I just bring it down. This point and I bring it down and so forth. It's very simple. And sort of magical, to me at least. All right, what I'm doing is I'm going to begin with the leading point, the closest point of the building to me, or the shape, or whatever it is you choose to draw. So that's this one. In other words, this projected line down here. Going across, this would be the top, because this is the same line as this one right here. Top of it right here, bottom of it right here. This is the line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the leading corner of my cube. Now, that gives me enough information to go from the bottom of the cube corner, down at the bottom of that one, which is this one right here, to my vanishing point. I tend to put my pencil on the vanishing point so that it's there, and then that way I can move my ruler accordingly, and I don't have to worry about that point. But if you don't do it that way, just make sure when you're done, line them both up. And basically what you're doing is you're making a line from your vanishing point that's gonna tell you the degree at which the building fades away in the distance. Again, I'm going to go from the top point to the horizon line. This gives me the side of my cube. And you can see projecting down, there's the back of the cube. And now we're going to do the same from the top point, this point again, to the vanishing point. vanishing point to the bottom corner that being this one right there that one okay now make things clear this is the leading one 
as you see, this is the back one. It's right there. I don't have to invent it. Over here, there it is. I don't have to make this up. It's right there. I'm just transcribing it. Now, I know where the floor is. And I know where the top is. Floor. Top. Nice little thing you can still, you can add to this because we have this point in the back, which is this line here. The way you find the back of the cube is again, from the vanishing point, we go to the furthest point on the back side, being that one right there. So there's my vanishing point line. And you can see that dictates where my floor is gonna be. And again, I'm gonna go from the vanishing point from this one now, which is um, this one. <laughs> And there you have it. Oh, I'll do the top also while I'm here. That would be this one to the vanishing point right there. And the same for the other side. I'm gonna be going from the top to the vanishing point, which is the top. There you go. And now you can see the back. It's a little loose right there because I'm not being too careful. But there you go. That's the basic of the magic. As you can see, I now have a cube. And it's just, you go from here. Um, you can change these two shapes. You can move them around. Um, you can change where your perspective fades. You. This is just the beginning. Have fun.